All right, so this is video six. I just wanted to post real quick. Um, I got everything back from Powder Coat. Well, majority of everything, everything that uh, for this round at least. And uh, you'll be spending the next couple days putting it back together. So I probably had, um, I want to say maybe five days or six days uh, since I posted my last video, which is about a month ago. Uh, I was traveling for a couple weeks again. And... Uh, um, just haven't had a lot of time like I said so you can see just a ton of stuff that went to powder coat um, this will all be getting to the point now where we can start throwing things back on uh, what I haven't done is finish the seat as you can see I was waiting to get the rear end back on so I can and also the uh, battery and that tank the cover back on everything so I can get the spacing right um, I haven't done the paint yet you can see the tanks down here and the fender is over here uh, I got all the welding done and everything before I left, actually. Um, I've gotten the exhaust all done, except for I need to get it wrapped back up. Basically, I cut and uh, shortened these by about four inches, added some small, like, four-inch baffles in there, and then re-welded them up. Actually kicked them out just a little bit more, uh, just a couple degrees more out as well. And uh, those just need to be wrapped, but... The next video obviously should look like a bike again. Um, all this will be back together. Uh, powder Coater did a great job. I used a different guy this time. Um, I'm, there's a couple pieces I'm not too happy with, but it's kind of my fault. Um, the oil tank being one of them and also the little electrical housing, which are back here. Um, you're probably not going to be able to see really in the video. It probably looks fine, but... Uh, it's got some orange peel to it. Just it's what it's a textured powder coat that's on here And when we had talked about it and doing all these, uh, you know, the covers for the motor and everything uh, You know, he was saying and we were talking about having to strip them all the way down because I want to do a gloss black on that And so I just assumed he would do the same thing on those pieces uh, Even though they were the only two pieces like that and he didn't so um, probably gonna end up redoing that or both of those two pieces or possibly just the oil tank the other one's really not bad it's such so small you don't you know there's not a lot of surface area for you to even really notice it but um every, everything else came out really good and uh again like i said i'll just get everything back together um is what my plan is get it you know running driving uh everything pretty much back together and then pull all the covers like i said do the gloss black on the motor it uh, looks like I'll have to do the uh, oil tank again, probably. And uh, then just some final, you know, things here and there, final touch-up stuff, and it's a uh, done deal. So next video, like I said, except for probably, like, the handlebars and controls and things, um, it will look uh, as, it, as it will, you know, when it's done, basically.